What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so, yes. <laughs> this is going to be a long episode, guys. Well, the raw footage says it's going to be long, but the editing is going to say otherwise and all that stuff. Thank God for, you know, chapters and all that stuff. That way you guys can skip through to when we get to the mountain, or uh, what was it called, the rock tunnel and all that stuff. So, first thing is first, guys. We're gonna go get Magikarp because, well, we kind of traveled uh, long and wide, and I kind of want to see what kind of uh, what kind of levels he's up to. So, I'll be right back with you guys. We're gonna speed through and get to him. Okay, so here we are in the daycare, and uh, let's see what this guy is gonna say. Your Hydra has grown a lot. Yes, quite a lot, I'd say. Let me see. It's grown by 12 levels. Aren't I great? You owe me 1300 in return for this Pokemon. So yes, uh, oh crap, I completely forgot about the uh, the Pokemon that I had in my my team. So let's go right ahead and switch these guys out right here. Thankfully, he does have a PC right there. So let's go right ahead and take care of these uh, these Pokemon right here. As you guys can see, I've uh, collected quite an array of Pokemon right here. Eventually, you know, I'm going to be training some of them up to easy levels. That way I can actually boost up my... Uh, my Pokedex a little because we need to get we need to grab items and we need to grab them quick and so let's go ahead and grab this and bam we got ourselves Hydra back and it is at level 17 now with with it being at level 17 it should know tackle attack and everything so let's see yes and it had quite a few more steps to go so what we're gonna do now guys is we're gonna be going straight to the entrance to get to rock tunnel so I'll be right back with you guys okay so here we are guys and well all we need to do now is here we are in route 9 we need to cut this out and we need to go ahead and start battling everybody so let's go right ahead and start uh, switching up some Pokemon actually Puss in Boots is actually good so let's go right ahead and start battling you have Pokemon with you you're mine Oh wow, that's not gonna be good. Here we are taking on Picnicker Alicia, and she's coming out with her uh, with her Oddish right here. And obviously, <laughs> I'm getting the short end of the stick right here. And there we go, grow some levels. Let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Let's go to Tornado right here. Peg Attack. There we go. Peg Attack and Peg Attack. Look at that. Hashtag Peg Attack. Tornado is kicking some butt right now, guys. And she's like, "You deceived me." Kind of did a little bit, and thanks to the, thanks to the what was it called, the uh, payday attack. It actually gives us a little bit more money. So let's go ahead and uh, use this, use this right here. And yeah, our last work right now has to be Puss in Boots because well, <laughs> it's been getting its butt kicked. And here we found TM40 Aerial Ace. It's a very good flying type move, which I will probably be teaching uh, Tornado soon. Maybe, who knows? And here we go. Wahaha! <laughs> Great! I was bored, eh? Okay. Okay. So, we're gonna be taking on Hiker Jeremy, and he's coming with his Machop right here, so let's go right ahead and speed this up. Water Gun Attack, Seismic Toss, and he's gonna be coming out with an Onyx. Onyx, very heavy. There we go, and we grow to level 27. Throwing out that piece on yet again. Alrighty, so that's another guy down. Now, many of you guys have already noticed that I'm being a little stingy with the uh, with the TMs I've been getting as of late because, you know, as I, I mentioned this early on in our adventure, yes, I will be choosing some different Pokemon and all that crud. And uh, Aerial Ace is one of those moves where you know you just kind of want to have. You don't want to kind of you don't want to waste it on a Pokemon that might not be on your team later on. Kind of saying that for what was it called? Uh, for, for a good old buddy tornado right here because right now I kind of want to use them but then eventually I might I know I'm going to be choosing another Pokemon just to replace it and all that crud and I cannot wait to show you guys what Pokemon I want to use and look at that out like a light we defeated this guy right here and well let's see we're going to be co we're going to be taking on some more Pokemon trainers right here so let's go right ahead and give uh, Puss in Boots a little bit of love it's the only Pokemon right here that hasn't gotten to level 20 just yet. And here we go. I get up early every day to raise my Pokemon from from their cocoons. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Bookcatcher Brent. And he's coming out with his uh, Beedrill right here. This is scary because Beedrill is actually a little strong eventually. And well, let's go Tornado. And Peck Attack does it. 
this looks like it's a, a shot for Tornado right here. And look at that. Brent has been defeated. He's like, what a total waste of time. Well, don't be, don't be too negative. Good gravy. All right, so let's see. Now, if you guys want an easy, easy exit, you can come down right here and go straight back to the tree. That's not what we're going to be doing right here. Of course, we're going to be getting attacked by Pokemon, so just be aware of that. And, well, let's see. What else do we need to grab? Let's go down here, because there is a hiker, and there is an item that we can actually grab right there, too. Let's go with Leonardo, and let's go right ahead and see what happens right here. <laughs> Bring it on! Okay, I'm seeing it. Bring it on. Here we go. Hiker Allen, and he's coming out with his Geodude, so let's go with a water gun. And there we go. And Allen has been defeated. Okay, and let's go ahead and grab this. Burn Hill is right here. Let us move on just a little bit more. I think there is a hidden berry right around here somewhere. I just need to find it. Should be right here. And, well, let's see. I'm going to give a little more love to Puss in Boots. I guarantee it won't be a Pokemon, an evolutionary Pokemon. So let's go ahead and use a Super Potion right here. And just like that, we're healed. Let's go right ahead. Hmm. Go, my Super Bug Pokemon. I wonder if there's, if there's actually going to be like Super Bug Pokemon in the near future. That would be cool. And here he comes out with the Caterpie, level 20. So this should be an easy battle. Payday. Payday. Yes, we're going to be getting a lot of money. And here comes a Pokemon that could potentially hurt us a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh, we're going to get lots of money. And here comes a Venonat. Let's go right ahead and do that again. And, of course, we're poisoned, so bite attack. Bite attack. And we're not going to risk it. Let's go straight for Tornado right here. And Peg Attack does the thing. And Puss in Boots grows to level 20, finally. And, well... Yeah. My bugs! We get a little bit of money right there, but we picked up 720 Poke Dollars off the payday. That is awesome. Okay, so... We do have a Pokemon that is now poisoned yet again. I think I've been getting more poisoned than anything. So let's go right ahead, Puss in Boots. Yes, you are actually proving your worth right now, and it's not in a good way. So, let's see, we got another bug type, I guess. No, bug type trainer? I'm taking uh, Rock Tunnel to the le or to Lavender. Oh, to Lavender Town. Alrighty, so let's go run ahead, taking on Camper Drew. And he is going to be coming out with his Ratatata. So, here comes a Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots, bite attack right here. And, well, that tackle attack hits us pretty hard. Completely forgot to heal it, so let's go with Smasher. And double kick for the win. And he's going to be coming out with a Saiyan True, so let's go with Leonardo. And Water Gun Attack for the win. And coming out with another Saiyan True. And there we go. And coming out with an Ekans. Sparky, you know what to do. Team Rocket's a natural enemy right there. And just like that, we have defeated our, our opponent, Camper Drew. He is not too happy right now. He really isn't. Talk to him. Are you up to the rock tunnel too? Yes, I am. So, let's see. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Let's see. Puss in Boots. We're almost there. Let's go right ahead and... Again, if you guys see this little M shape right there, that usually means there's something hidden. And if you click, bam, you found yourself another berry. And I think I found like two extra berries that, you know, we passed by early on in our adventure right here. So... Just be aware of that, and let's see. He is possibly a rock type trainer, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. <laughs> Aren't you a little toughy? Kinda, just a little bit. Okay, so Hiker Bryce wants to battle. Let's go, Mega or Water Gun right there. Water Gun, and he's coming out with a Machop, so let's go with Tornado and Peg Attack for the win. And just like that, level 23. Bryce has been defeated. Oh my god. Alright, so let's move let's move on ahead right here. And I think yes, we do have one more trainer. Again, you guys see why I am speeding up most of these battles, because there are a lot of trainers, and usually I like to go piece by piece. I don't think you guys want to wait for that no longer, so 
we're gonna be doing this. Doing everything. Seismic toss, seismic toss, and Caitlyn has been defeated. Okay, alrighty. Let us move on right here. Here we are in Route 10, guys. Nothing too special. You will be finding some kind of Pokemon right here, like Voltorb or something like that, which we will be capturing off screen. And before we go anywhere, let's go right ahead and battle this lady. And, uh, well, she does have Clefairies. So we're going to be switching it up to Puss in Boots. See if it actually does have an advantage. Let's go! I've been out of, uh, I've been at a Pokemon gym a few times, but I always lose. You do. You always lose, huh? Okay, so here we go. Taking on Heidi, and she's coming out with a Pikachu, and this is probably going to be a bad idea. So let's go right ahead and go with Smasher, and Smasher, let's go with Body Slam for the win. Clefairy's coming out. Let's go Puss in Boots, and Payday. Who doesn't like Payday, huh? Double kick or double slam or something like that, and we're gonna keep on going. We get put to sleep. Good gravy. So let's go with a mega kick right here, and just like that, we have defeated uh, Caitlyn right here, or whatever her name is. Okay, so I see a few M's. So let's go right ahead and grab that. Here we have a cherry berry, and another one right here. Found ourselves a person berry. Okay. So, what I'm going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to heal up, capture a Pokemon off screen, and actually, hold on. Nope, nothing right there. There should be a hidden item right here somewhere. Let's see. Yeah, nothing like that. Okay, so I'll be right back with you guys. I'm going to be preparing for the rock tunnel. Alrighty, guys. So, we are back inside the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon Center right here. And before we go into the rock tunnel, there is a Professor's Aid right here. Oh, Draven, I've been looking for you. It's me, one of the ever-present aides of Professor Oak. <laughs> if your Pokedex has complete data of 20 species, I'm supposed to give you a reward. I've been, entr I've been entrusted by it with an Everstone, and yes, we've got more than 20 kinds. 29 to be exact, and bam, we get ourselves an Everstone. And, well, from what he's saying is, making Pokemon Evolve certainly can add to the Pokedex. However, at times, you may not want a certain Pokemon to evolve. In that case, give it the Everstone to that Pokemon. It will prevent evolution according to Professor, which is good. Okay, so we're going to go straight to the Rock Tunnel. I still got a few things that I need to complete right here, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so it is time, guys. Let's go straight into the Rock Tunnel and uh, complete this mission right here. So here it is, guys. Rock Tunnel. Okay, so I mentioned this in the last episode. Back when it was red, blue, and yellow, you could not see anything except for, like, maybe the red or blue or maybe the yellow shadow of the whole place. Maybe it was brown and yellow. I don't know. I'm going off on a tangent, but... Yeah, didn't even know where the flash technique was until, you know, I finally read into the instructions and all that stuff. The schoolyard. Yep, shout out to my buddy Emil. That was the way to go. Now, I'm going to be going through this whole place without getting attacked by any of these Pokemon. That's why I stocked up on quite a few repels because, well, I do not want to I do not want to mess with any of these Pokemon now. Be aware that there are going to be some other repels right here. <laughs> some items and a, another teacher that will teach you a different move or two. So, what's going to happen is actually, let's go ahead and go, let's go ahead and go with uh, Puss in Boots. And Pokemon fight! Ready, go! As always, I am going to be speeding up this whole thing right here, guys, because, well, we're, we're going for the adventure. I think we've already seen it enough, and yes, Cubone is here. And, well, let's go with Leonardo, and go with the water gun, yes. And here comes a slow poke. Let's go with a sparky attack, and Thundershock for the win. There we go. And just like that, another victory for us. Okay, so let's move on right here. Yeah, this place is long, but there are quite a few things that you can find here. If you have a Pokemon with Rock Smash, you can actually, you know, find some rare Pokemon in those, uh, in those boulders right there. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get Rock Smash until, like, way, way later, guys. And I draw illustrations of Pokemon when I'm done, or when I'm home. I love the illustration right there. Let's go. Pokemaniac Winston wants the battle, and he's coming with his Slowpoke. Bite attack, bite attack, and yes, Puss in Boots is finally winning! That is how you do it. Okay, alrighty, we're getting some money right here. Good monies. And our repel has worn off. Thankfully, we have gotten... Oh, we, we stocked up on those repels right there. And if you go right here to this corner, you'll find yourself a revive. 
I think it's the first of its kind right here. And, well, she's wearing green. I think she has some grass-type Pokemon. So let's go with... Oh, no, not this guy. Let's go with Tornado. Alrighty, Tornado. Let's go. I don't have to come here, but I will battle you. Oh, okay. So let's go right ahead and take on Picnicker Martha. And she does have some grass-type Pokemon, obviously. I'm going to get paralyzed, and I'm not going to be moving. Bulbasaur, how's it going? And there you go. Martha has been defeated. Oh, yeah. Be aware of the Pokemon that you can find here, guys. You can find Geodudes, obviously. Machops are also Pokemon you can find. And I believe Onyx are right in here, too. So if you guys are looking for those Onyx, it's right here. Just a little rare. Just be aware of that. And, uh, well, we got this guy right here. Usually they have some kind of, a uh, you know, slow poke. So let's go right ahead and share the wealth. Bring it on. Um, do you know about Pokemon cosplay? Yes, I do. And... <laughs> I don't do it. I'm sorry. Not because uh, I'm not ashamed of it. or It's just because, well, I'm not the type that cosplays and everything. But I do respect the cosplay community and crud. <laughs> and, well, let's go right ahead and go straight to Leonardo. Water gun. There we go. Cubone. There we go. Water gun. And Leonardo grows a level 29. Pokemaniac Steve does not like what I what, what it's seeing right now. And, well, yes, you got to love the Poke Dollars. Okay. So, let's see, there might be an item here somewhere. No, not right here. Alrighty, so we got ourselves some hikers, and we all love hikers because, well, they do like to use uh, rock type Pokemon. So let's go right ahead and battle these guys. My Pokemon techniques will leave you crying. Really, will it? Let's go, taking on Hiker Allen. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his Geodude. There we go, and just like that, leave you crying. All right, who's next? There's a hiker right on the other side right here. So either way you go, you're going to face a hiker, guys. So there we go. Repel. And take on this hiker. Hit me with your best shot. Okay, let's go. All right, hiker. How's it going? His name is Hiker Eric. Coming out with his Machoke, or Machop. Seismic Toss. Seismic Toss Palooza right there, and he's coming out with an Onyx, and... Oh, we're in the bind, so Water Gun, yet again, we win. See? Easy. Very fast. This would have normally took us, taken us, like... Let's see, quite a few episodes, or... I don't even know. Let's see. Uh, there's two guys right here. So what I meant, guys... Uh, let's see. Normally, this thing would have taken us at least an hour just to get through... Back when I was driving XE 7-Eleven, this would have taken at least two episodes just because, well, you know, I was trying to get more episodes in. And, well, I think, I, I think we, we found the tech, I think we found the recipe for success right here. For those who just want to get through this whole area, see what it's all about, see what we're battling and all that crud. And, well, there we go. Water gun yet again. And there you go. Level 30. How's it going? He's coming out with a match up, so let's give Tornado a little bit of love. There we go, Peck Attack for the win. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see. There should be an individual here that could teach you Rock Slide. Hmm, maybe I'm lost in here. All right, we're taking on Oliver. Oliver Twist, Water Gun. He's coming out with another one. Let's go with Smasher since, you know, it's been a while since I've used you. And there we go, level 26, just like that, guys. Okay, let's continue this battle right here. And, oh, that magnitude 7 actually hits us. And, well, there you go, guys. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's just go ahead. There is an item right here, and we need to actually, you know, we, we actually need to use another repel. So this is repel number three. Grab this, and we found ourselves an escape rope and battled this guy. Outsiders like you need to show me some respect. No, we don't. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, so here we go. Hiker Lewis wants the battle. Coming out with his Geodude water gun for the win. And he's coming out with a Graveler. And there you go. Mm-hmm. Easy peasy. All right, let's move on right here. And here we are in the next area of the rock tunnel. Now, you always go right here just to find something, but... Huh, never mind. Lexi, there should be somebody in here that could teach you rock slide. Let's uh, prepare first by going with Sparky. And let's see what Puss in Boots has picked up and found ourselves another Chesto Berry. And let's see. Do you know how to? Do you know how you can avoid getting lost in the mountains? 
You can bend twigs as a trail markers. Yes, that is true. That is hiking 101 right there. And here we are taking on picnicker Sophia. Coming out with her Jigglypuff. Mm -hmm. And... Wow, taking... Oh, wow, it is really messing with us right now. And wow, okay. Puss in Boots. Revenge. And just like that. Coming out with another Pokemon. Let's go with Smasher. Jeebus Cramony. Rock Tomb for the win. And coming out with a Meow. Let's continue this. Body Slam. And just like that, we win. At what price, though? Our Pikachu. So let's go right ahead and use a Revive. Actually, it wasn't the first of its kind. Huh. It's pretty kind. All right. So Pikachu, not so happy with us because we lost. Let's go right ahead and use that Super Potion right there. And let's go right ahead and move on forward. Yes, our Pokemon need healing. All right, so if you go to this guy right here, he is a move teacher, and he's going to be like, when you're up in a rocky mountain like this, rock slides are a threat. Can you imagine boulders tumbling down on you? That'd be like, what? Total <laughs> terror. You don't seem to be scared. You want to try using rock slide? Sure. All right, let's see. So we got one Pokemon that knows that can actually learn it. So we're going to actually teach it to smash her because... It's Rock Tomb Attack, it's beneficial for taking away speed, but its accuracy is not that great. So let's go right ahead and do that. And Smasher has learned Rock Slide. Yeah, buddy. It might be scary to use it in this tunnel. It is. It is very, very scary. And another Repel has gone. Okay, so another Repel. That's number four. And let's go right ahead and take on another trainer right here. This guy's like... <laughs> Can you beat my power? Probably, probably not. I don't know. All right, so here we go, taking on a hiker. His name is Dudley from the Dudley Boys, and I am not going to be messing with this guy right here. So let's go with Leonardo, and the magnitude eight is gonna mess with us. So there we go. And well, here we go, water gun, and look at that, level thirty-one, and it's learning protect. I would love to use it, but protect is kind of a. It's a useful move, but it gets its accuracy gets lowered every single time you use it. So, yeah, what is the benefit in that? And, well, there is a trainer right here. Good gravy. You have a Pokedex. I want one, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. Taking on a Pokemaniac Cooper. Coming out with his Slowpoke. So this should be an easy battle for our good old buddy Sparky. Let's give Puss in Boots a little love right here. Bite attack. Bite attack. Bite attack again, and well, let's go with Sparky yet again. Thunder Shock, Thunder Shock, and there we go. Rose to level 23. Sparky's kicking some butt right now. And there goes Pokemon Cooper, and he's like, I am so jealous. You should be jealous. Okay, let us move over. Oh, there is a Pokeball right there, and there might be one. Nope, there might be one. Well, no, not really. Let's grab this, and we found ourselves a Max Ether. That I like to I like to conserve for you know in more important battles like the Elite Four or guys like you know Red you know oh yeah by the way guys uh, don't forget to say stay, stay tuned for New Year's Eve because uh, yeah I got a big battle against Red nothing too big I'm gonna dominate that dude yeah the training's going awful guys it really is <laughs> it really is. So yeah, guys, I'm um, just a little, just a little bit of an advertisement, um, self-advertisement, I should say. Uh, yeah, New Year's Eve. Uh, make sure, make sure to watch my Pokemon Crystal walkthrough um, finale, and it's our battle against against Red. And well, I don't know how that's gonna go. Like I said, the battle or the training has gone a little, a little weird because I've been going through the Pokemon, uh, the Pokemon League quite a few times, so. Yeah, <laughs> and as far as I'm concerned, many of you guys have chosen the team I should go up against, and it's going to be a little difficult because, well, you guys want to see me win in the most weird way possible, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to lose so bad. Hopefully not. And, well, here we go, taking on another, and there we go, Smasher grows to level 27, and we're going to go with Puss in Boots right here, Peck Attack, or not Puss in Boots, but Tornado. And there we go. Okay, so let's see. There might be an item right here. Nope. Now, if you guys remember in Pokemon Fire uh, or in Pokemon Leaf Green, 
I found myself a, a manky in here, a shiny manky. Lost it in my old computer. I am angry because, well, I could have traded for that Pokemon. I really could have. Okay, so let's go again and take on Picnicker Dana, and she's coming out with her meow. And Sparky, let's go Thundershock, Thundershock, Thundershock. And we're gonna go again, Thundershock, Thundershock, and look at that, Sparky surviving. It is a survivor. Let's go with Puss in Boots, and Bite Attack, Payday, Payday, and yes. As always, Puss in Boots is always getting poisoned, that's getting annoying right there. Let's go right ahead and uh, see if we got an antidote. Yeah, we got two of those. Oh, thank Jeebus. Okay, so that. And let's go ahead and use a super potion. Not for Puss in Boots. Wow, that, that was kind of a waste. So let's go Sparky and let's go right ahead and finish this off right here. Again, this would have normally taken about an hour or two episodes to complete. Yeah, and there is nothing right there. So let's go right downstairs right here. Okay. Route 10. Okay, so here we are in Route 10, guys, and there are more trainers to battle. So just be prepared for all that stuff. And the funny thing is, yes, I would have stopped right here, too. That's not going to happen. Talk to this person. I'm feeling a bit faint. I haven't hiked in some time. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's see what we got. Picnicker Carol, say hello to Pidgey, and we're gonna go with Sparky Thundershock again, and she's coming out with a Pidgeotto. Do it again, and well, it use its whirlwind, and Sparky grew to level 24, Tornado level 24, and look at that, Carol is not too happy right now. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch it out right here. Let's go with Leonardo, and see what this guy's all about. <laughs> oh wow, was he laughing or not? So let's go right ahead and Hiker Clark wants the battle. Let's go with the water gun, that does it, and it looks like we're close to the end of our water gun right there, so... Yeah, he has a fever. Thinks he's having a fever or something like that. And again, keep an eye out for the surroundings because we have found ourselves another berry, a Nana berry, and well, let's see. Go ahead and go to Puss in Boots. Yeah, Puss in Boots right here. Not really doing a lot of a lot of winning as of late. And hi, kid. Want to see my Pokemon? Yes. Let's go right ahead and see your Pokemon. And well, here we have Pokemaniac Herman, and he's gonna be coming out with a Cubone. And of course, I'm gonna be coming out with the worst Pokemon possible. So let's go right ahead and go to Leonardo. Water Gun, and that does it. Puss in Boots grows to level 22. And this should be a winnable battle for Puss in Boots. Bite attack, bite attack, and bite attack. Look at that. Okay. So, there it is. A win. And he is not too happy with us now. Alright, let's move on to the last trainer right here. And switch it out to Smasher. Give her a little lovin'. And here we go. Ah, this mountain air is delicious! The mountain air. Okay, so here we go, taking on Trent, and he's going to be coming out with his Onyx. Oh man, double kick. Double kick again, and just like that, coming out with a Graveler. Let's go with a Dig, and bam. Thankfully it didn't use Magnitude, because that would have messed us up bad. It really would have. Okay, so that is uh, that, and I think there's nothing else to, yeah, to look at. Okay, so here we are guys, in Lavender Town, and... We are going to stop right here because in the next episode, we're going to be doing a lot of changes. Not really. Well, kind of. Just a little bit. We're going to be going through routes. We're going to be battling a lot of people and quite possibly be introducing some new Pokemon into the team. Some much needed Pokemon. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, if you guys want to make a small donation to this channel, yes, the heart button's right there. Make sure to keep an eye out for my Pokemon Crystal finale. We will be taking on Red. Again, the training is going awful. Because I'm going through the Pokemon League over and over and over. And, uh, well, you guys have spoken. We will be using my Pokemon Crystal team 
if unless anything changes from here till, you know, final episode or something like that. I don't know. But I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.